Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This video is a part of the series about the time value of money where we will this time be looking at how you value a stream of cash flows. We have previously been looking at how you find both the future and the present value of a single cash flow. But what do you do if you have a new cash flow each year? Well, normally in your finance book, a stream of cash flows is what you refer to as just multiple cash flows. So in your book, you will always just say a stream of cash flows. The formula for the present value of a cash flow stream is presented right here. It is very related and very close to the present value of a single cash flow. The basic difference is that in the first year, as you can see right here, we don't divide by the interest rate factor. It is when we enter uh, the second year that we start dividing by the interest factor and so forth and so forth all the way on to year n. This formula can also be rewritten using the summation sign. However, it is a little bit hard to interpret the summation sign and a lot of people have difficulties with it. So just stick to the first one, it's a lot easier. Right here, as you can see, the present value formula for a single cash flow is very close to the present value formula for a cash flow stream. If we go through a demonstration problem for this, so you want to borrow money from your father. You will be able to pay him back $5,000 in the first year, then $8,000 the next three years. Your father will only lend you the money if you agree on the same interest that he would have earned from a savings account. If your father would earn 6% on his savings, how much can you borrow from him? So try and calculate this yourself, um, pause the video. I'll just post the solution right now. So the solution is, we use the present value formula I just showed you. So in the first year, um, we don't give anything. So what we said was cash flow in year zero. This is simply zero because the first time we give back money to our father is at the end of year one and the beginning of year two. So for this reason, we give $5,000 in the first year divided by 1.06, which was our interest rate. We continue 8,000 and 8,000 and 8,000 to the power of two and three and four. This gives us a present value of $24,890.65. So this is the amount that you will be able to lend from your mom, sorry, borrow from your father. This amount is less than $29,000. The reason why is because of the time value of money. We have discounted the values. We can verify our own answer by looking at the future value of the present value we just calculated. The future formula for the future value of a cash flow stream with a present value of PV is shown right here. This formula is basically the same as the future value formula of a single cash flow. We just swapped out the present value for the cash flow uh, sign instead. This is the basic difference. The present value we just calculated was $24,890.65. If we multiply this by 1.06 to the power of 4, we get 31,423.87. This is the amount your father will get, will get if he deposits the present value amount into the bank and keeps it there for 4 years. If he chooses to deposit each year, so the amount of money that he gets from you each year, so $5,000, $8,000, $8,000, and $8,000, he will get the same amount. The reason why is because the $5,000 are deposited at the end of year one. This is, for this reason, only discounted by the power of three, because there are three years left. And um, then we divide by uh, the power of 2 and we divide by power 1 since we are in the last year we don't divide by the interest rate factor so for this reason we get the same amounts the reason why they're not completely uh, equivalent is because of rounding
So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will uh, focus a little bit more on the time value of money before we will move on to other subjects. So please comment, rate or subscribe to the channel if you find this interesting. Please leave a comment if you think there is something I could improve on. Thank you for watching.